Well, nearly two weeks ago, we were on the campus of Notre Dame College in South Euclid as students made connections at a college fair. Are you looking for like a smaller school, a bigger school? Uh, I would like a private smaller school, just like this school. It was set up to potentially help those students find new schools, given that Notre Dame is closing after this current semester. And our team has been covering the pending closure since the college's announcement in late February. So generations, of course, have walked through the halls and attended classes at the small private Catholic school over the past 100 years. And today I'm following through speaking to faculty and staff who, like the students, are trying to figure out where they will land next. Walking around Notre Dame College's 48-acre campus hits differently these days. You know, I'm an adjunct and I know a lot of places you're kind of treated as a spare part and I never felt that here. And after two decades of teaching math as an adjunct instructor, Alan Braun is bracing for the future. I have some options. Um, not quite sure. February 29th, news broke that the private Catholic school, home to about 1,200 students and 300 full and part-time faculty and staff, would shutter because of debt and declining enrollment. I, along with my News 5 colleagues, have promised to follow through and have brought you extensive coverage talking about the impact to students. A lot of mixed reviews overall. Student athletes, the surrounding neighborhood and city. And March 13th, I was at the college fair set up to introduce students to partner schools that have agreed to accept students and honor their credits and tuition financial aid situations. It's kind of surreal. Today, I was at a career fair set up for faculty and staff. People like Chelsea Burns, who finished her strategic communication and public relations degree at Notre Dame in December and was hired to be an academic advisor. To make sure that underserved students are empowered uh, academically, socially and culturally really drew me to the job. It was a full circle moment that now brings uncertainty and empathy for colleagues who have built long-standing careers here. In a way, I was kind of optimistic for the change and the growth. So. I'm open to the transition. I'm letting God lead me. She met with a few of the 25 employers and passed along resumes. She told me that she would love to land a career in communications or public relations. Colleges and universities like CSU were on hand. So are you ready to hire? Yes, we are ready to hire. Um, on the staff side right now, we have about 45 to 50 openings. Higher education is uh, one of the things that you can never take away from an individual. And we're standing at Olive Branch. Beachwood High School was recruiting and Southwest General Health Center looking for clinical nursing educators, physicians assistants, and administrative support associates. Chelsea graduates in May, the college's final class. What will you miss the most, you know, being able to say, I spent time here at Notre Dame? You got that personal experience um, with the professors, with the staff faculty with the students so just that that family orientation that you kind of feel on campus I'll miss that now commencement is May the 4th the adjunct math teacher that I spoke to today said that he would love to see another educational institution take over that beautiful campus we will continue to speak with school leaders and the city of South Euclid the mayor included there as this plan plays out